time, 1.02 in the morning on this Tuesday, and it has been everything it was built to be. Lots of heavy rain, fierce winds, and a whole lot of flooding going on. We'll talk about the latest power outages as well. Sandy outages as of 12.15, 4.1 million people in the dark this morning. LIPA reporting 793,000 of those. This is 1010 Winds. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the word. Good morning, 53 degrees and light rain on this Tuesday morning. It's 1.20 in the morning, October 30th. I'm Larry Mullins, and here's what's happening. This is an update from the 1010 Winds Storm Center. And the Tri-State is getting a full dose this morning of Hurricane Sandy, and she came in here early for more than 4 million people without power. There is widespread flooding that is taking place, and as we mentioned earlier, among the 11 people killed nationally in this storm, six of those, I beg your pardon, eight of those casualties were right here at home, including two children in North Salem. Good morning, I'm Paul James. Con Ed says a major explosion at a Con Ed facility on 14th Street near the FDR Drive has knocked out power to much of lower Manhattan. Con Ed says restoration involving that particular blast could last up to a week. Word a number of homes are on fire in Queens at Rockaway Point. There are fires on Long Island as well. High tide a short time ago on the North Shore and the Connecticut coast. The storm surge, a huge concern during the overnight hours. Millions without power in the region. We will update the outages. Eight deaths in the tri-state region alone linked to this storm. Five of them in New York State. Where MTA officials rather tell us it's possible there may not be subway service for up to four days. A possibility. New York City Public Schools closed again Tuesday. The financial markets will be closed again Tuesday. And the city's 911 system is getting ten times the normal volume of calls. Mayor Bloomberg is asking people not to call 911 unless it is a life-threatening emergency. Joe Hernkind, H E R R N K I N D. Lived in the house that used to be over there for over 15 years. I own both. Um, after my mom got sick, I started to take out the handicap features. I started staying here on the bottom floor. My friend stayed up there. And um, up to the house stood up until two weeks ago. And then the city came in and deemed it that it was declared that it had to come down and um, lost, it was like losing her again. So um, Sandy took way more from me than she should have. This area here is called Ocean Breeze that I live in and um, the area itself is shooting for the buyout from the governor. We meet and exceed all the essence of what the buyout should be for an enhanced area. We're surrounded by water. We get constant wildfires, constant flooding. The city, the borough president and parks department took away our natural barrier, which was all the trees that ran across Father Capadano and put in a cement park. They're adding more cement features here. They added a road that causes the water just to pile into my area. So now I'm not only wondering what I experienced in Sandy, I'm worried about future storms. I had two deaths here, we don't need any more. We need this to end now, we need the governor to come in and just buy us all out. We're worse now than we were then, because then you had a glimmer of hope. The only glimmer of hope we see right now is the governor coming in and giving us closure and getting us out of this bad situation. It's been a long, long experience. Tiresome, worrisome. Um, we just want results. We just want this to be resolved. And a buyout would be something that the governor should give us. Um, we don't want to go through this again. I mean, October, we're on October, November. We have, uh, this is hurricane season. We don't know if this was a fluke of nature because we've never had experienced anything like this before. Um, and we don't want to, 
come back and then next year to worry about every single year if this is going to be it, if this is what's going to happen. So, you know, we just want, we just want, like you said, a closure. We want to move on. And, you know, it's a shame that a lot of us have to go through this. We shouldn't, you know, this is America. We shouldn't have to go through all this. Marie and Walter, who lived in a safe house, but they were elderly. And when they saw the water coming, they became scared and ran for their car as the waters were rising. And they both drowned just a little bit away from where they would have been safe on their home, right down here, right by the water. To all those families who've lost their lives and who have suffered, we promise we will never forget them and we will continue to work to make sure that such a tragedy never happens again to anybody close to us because we have all been touched by this experience. So just for a moment of silence to those 23 and more that we know whose names have not been reported, here is to all of them. May your memories go on forever. Thank you for your lives. Salud. Thank you.